the 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 sea, the water, because there was a, a like a small tsunami. Yeah. But everything is okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad everything's okay now, at least. Um, I think ten ten people died or, around there. Yeah, about ten or eleven. I don't know, and a couple more missed. Are missing. Are missing. Yeah. Yeah, it's scary. It's a big earthquake. Um, okay, and well, Judith, welcome to class. How's it going? It's going well, thank you. All right, nice. Good to hear. Uh, how was your weekend? What did you do over the weekend? Not that much. Okay, not that much. That sounds kind of relaxed. Um, I guess, what about today? What are you up to today? Nothing special. Okay. I went to the post office. To the post office? Um, mm -hmm. Nice. I guess that's something. Uh, and Santiago, how's it going? Hello, Joshua. I'm doing well. What about you? Doing really well. Thank you for asking. And good to see you again, Santiago. Um, Me too. What did you do over the weekend? <laughs> the weekend, well, um, I was working on Saturday uh, almost all day. So I only had uh, Sunday for resting. That's all. <laughs> okay, cool. And Amp, welcome to class. Amp, how's it going? Hi, teacher. I'm doing well. What about you? Doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. Uh, what did you do over the weekend, Amp? My weekend? Uh, nice. I, I have a, a reunion, a meeting with my... Well, a reunion with my friends from the high school in a hotel. And um, then yesterday was one of my niece's birthday. So okay. That it was my activities on weekend. Okay, nice. That sounds really enjoyable. Um, yeah, it was. High school reunion. Um, cool. And Julieta's work to do. Um, all right, uh, Julieta, a quick question. Do you mind if we do the story that you read the other day with Catalina, um, Remand mm -hmm. from the South? Yeah. Yes, yes. That's cool? All right, cool. It's cool. As, uh, let's get started with that then. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. And can you guys see that? Okay. Yes. And, Amp, let's get started with you. Can you read until another? Okay, the man from the south, uh, it was getting on toward 6 o'clock, so I thought I'd buy myself a beer and go out and sit in a deck chair by the swimming pool, pool and have a little evening sun. I went to the bar and got, to the, uh, I got the beer and carried it outside and wandered down the garden toward the pool. It was a fine garden with law with lawn and beds of azaleas and tall coconut palms. And the one uh, the wind was blowing strongly through the tops of the palm trees, making the leaves hiss and crackle as though they were on fire. I could see the clusters of big brown nuts handing down underneath the leaves. Uh, right, that's hanging. Hanging down, yeah. There were plenty of oops, deck chairs around the swimming pool, and there were white tables and huge, brightly colored umbrellas, and some burned men and women sitting around in bathing suits. In the pool itself, there were three or four girls and about a dozen, a dozen boys. Uh, all splashing about and making a lot of noise and throwing a large rubber ball at one another. Nice. Uh, beds. 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 Of azaleas. What's name? Azalea. 
azaleas. And coconut. 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 Oh. Coconut. 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 And huge. 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 Dozen. Huge. Dozen. Good. Okay. And questions here. Okay. Ken, welcome to class. Ken, how's it going? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. Welcome back to class. Thank you. Um, so basically we've got somebody going down to the pool, clearly a tourist or a touristy area. There's palm trees, coconuts, azaleas are a type of flower. Um, anyways, so there are people in the pool as well. Let's have Anna Carolina. Can you read until whoa share? Um, yeah, chairs. I still do. Yeah, go ahead. Why did you change our minds? Uh, just size. Keep read until yeah. Read until chairs then. I stood watching them. The girls were. English girls from the hotel. The boys I didn't know about, but they sounded American, and I thought they were probably nav naval cadets who'd come ashore from the U.S. naval training vessel, which had arrived in the harbor that morning. I went over and sat down under a yellow umbrella where they were four empty seats and I poured my beer and settled back comfortably with a cigarette. It was very pleasant sitting there in the sunshine with beer and a cigarette. Beer, 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 sorry. It was pleasant to sit and watch the batters splashing about in the green water. The American sailors were getting on nicely with the English girls. They reached the stage where they were diving under the water and tipping them up by their legs. Just then I noticed a small old man walking briskly around the edge of the pool. He was immaculately dressed in a white suit and he walked very quickly with little bouncing strides. Pushing himself high up onto his tools with each step, he had on a large creamy Panama hat, and he came bouncing along the sides of the pool, looking at the people and the chairs. Nice. Okay. Naval. Naval. Cadets. Cadets. And where there were. Where there were. Comfortably. Comfortably. Mm -mm. Comfortably. Comfortably. Nice. Good. Comfortably. Comfortably. Pleasant. 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 And bathers. Bathers. Uh, legs. Legs. Oh no. <laughs> you said legs on. Immaculately. 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 Im Hold on. Immaculately. Sorry. Nice. Don't be sorry. That was good. Okay. And let's have Herman. Can you read for a while? I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. He stopped beside me and smiled, showing two rows of bird small and being teeth slightly tarnished, I smiled back. Excuse please, but may I see he may I sit here? Certainly, I said, go ahead. He bobbed around the around to the back of the chair and inspect inspected for safety. 
Then he sat down and crossed his legs. His white back skin shows that had a little holes punched all over them for ventilation. A fine evening, he said. They are all evenings fine here in Jamaica. I couldn't tell if the accent were Italian or Spanish, but I felt fairly sure he was some sort of a South American, and all too, when you saw him close, probably around six to eight or seventy. Yes, I said. It is wonderful here, isn't it? And who might I ask are all DC? DC is no hotel people. He was pointing at the ballers in the pool. I think they are American sailors, I told him. They are American who are learning to be sailors. Stop! <laughs> no, that, that's a stop reading. Good. Um, really nice job. Bathers. Can you repeat bathers? Bathers. 68. Six. 68. Uh, did I lose you? Can you repeat one more time 68, Roman? Yeah, 68. Good. Um, and buckskin shoes, not buckskin shows. Um, uh, okay. That's my fault. Inspected. Inspected. And bobbed. Bobbed. Good. And uneven. Uneven. Good. And does anybody have any questions so far? I know we didn't get any questions from the last part. Buckskin. Buckskin. So, buckskin, a buck is a deer. Oh, okay. So Made it of. could either be the color of the leather, a type of leather. Um, okay. Even Anna Carolina would be like in a straight line. So like this line at the bottom of the page is even. Uneven would be like with ups and downs. And bobbed is like... <laughs> um, so bob is something like in the water. It will bob up and down. So... We've already talked about how this person walks on his toes. He has like little bouncing strides, pushing himself high up onto his toes. With each step, if you're bobbing, you're just going up and down. So, again, describing how he walks. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, Sam, welcome to class. Sam, how's it going? No. Yes, fine. Everything is going well. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so far with this story, we have the narrator who is a tourist in Jamaica, and he's down by the pool, and he sees this small person who could be from Italy or South America. Is, um, yeah, but we're not sure. And Julieta, can you read until I tell you to stop? Of course they are Americans. Who else is in the world is going to mix as such noise as that? You are not American, no? No, I said, I'm not. Suddenly, one of the American cadets was standing in front of us. He was dripping wet from the pool and one of the English girls was standing there with him. Are these chairs taken? He said. No, I answered. Mind if I sit down? Go ahead. Thanks, he said. He had a towel in his hand, and when he sat down, he unrolled it and uh, pr produced a pack of cigarette, cigarettes and a lighter. He offered a cigarette to the girl, and she refused. Then he offered them to me, and I took one. The little man said, Thank you. No, but I think I have a, cig a cigar. He pulled out a crocodile case and got himself a cigar. Then he produced a knife which had a small scissors and in it and he snipped and the end of the cigar. Here, let me give you a light, 
the American boy held up his lighter. That will not work in, in this wind. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that sounded really good. Yeah, that sounded really good. Um, nice job with crocodile case, small scissors, snipped. Questions here. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, yes, teacher, I have a question here. That um, some words is change. For example, at the last sentence, um, yes, yes, this that will not work in this when. So uh, this actually uh, the word, or you just change uh, this it's into this. Mm -hmm. A good question. It's supposed to be for accent. Okay. Uh, so this person is supposed to be from another country who's not supposed to speak English fluently. Mm -hmm. um, Same as like us. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's a it's like a really <laughs> poor interpretation of like what might be an Italian <laughs> accent. Um, so mm -hmm. that would not work in this wind. Something like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds a little bit more like Dracula. But um, yeah. So thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. And Sam, can you read until I tell you to stop? Sure. Uh, sure. It will work. It always works. The little man removed his unlighted lighted cigar from his mouth and uh, cocked his head on one side and looked and looked at the at the boy. Always, he said softly. Sure, it never fails. Not with me, anyway. The little, little man's head was still cocked over on one side, and he was still watching the boy. Well, well, so you say. This famous lighter, it never fails. Is that you? Uh, is that you say? Sure, the boy said, that's right, he was about 19 or 20 with a long freckled face and a rather sharp uh, bird-like nose. His chest was not very sunburned and there were freckles up there too and a few wisps of pale reddish hair. He was holding the lighter in his right hand, ready to flip the wheel. It never fails, he said, smiling now because he was purposely exaggerating his little boost. I promise you it never fails. One moment, please. The hand that held the cigar came up high, palm outward as though it were stopping traffic. Now, just one moment, he had a curiously soft tone, uh, tone lace voice, and he kept looking at the boy all the time. All right, really nicely done. Purposely? Mm hmm. Purposely? Yeah, purposely. Purposely, Pur purposely okay. Yeah, other than that, you did a really good job. Um, nice work with like exaggerating, mm -hmm. curiously. Mm -hmm. uh, all those really did a good job. Um, does anybody you. have any questions here? Wisps are like wispy. Uh, mm. Wisps, yeah. So wispy, it's like, just, yeah, his hair is wispy. He has wisps of pale reddish hair. So kind of jut out. Um, and a boast. Does anybody know what a boast is? It's from a sports class that we had. I know a couple of you have had it. What is Nobody it? knows what a boast is? Huh? Where is it? Boast. Um, he's purposely boasting, exaggerating his little boast. Oh, okay. Uh, vain. Uh, mm. Sure enough. <laughs> Yeah, so a boast is like an exaggerated statement about your skills or something like that. 
Um, so if you're boasting, you're like, I'm the best in the world. It's something, if you're saying something that's clearly exaggerated, clearly not true, to make yourself look better. So yeah, it's like a, kind of like a little vain statement that's not true. Any other questions? I have a question. Um, let me see. Pale reddish. Right? Yeah. So it's not a dark red. It's a light red. Um, does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's almost blonde, maybe. It's not a dark red. It's a pale red. Kind of color, but softer, right? Sorry. It's a kind of color. Yeah, it's a color. Okay, okay. Any other questions? Okay. Let's have Santiago. Can you read until until you stop? Okay. Um. Shall we not perhaps make a little bet on that? He smiled at the boy. Shall we not make a little bet on whether your your lighter lights? Sure, uh, I'll bet. The boy said, "Why not? You like to bet? Sure, I'll always bet." The man paused and examined his cigar, and I must say I didn't much like the way he was behaving. It seemed he was already trying to make something out of this and to embarrass the boy. And at the same time, I had the feeling he was relishing a private little secret all his, all his own. He looked, he looked up again at the boy and said slowly, I like to bet, too. Why we don't have a good bet on this thing? A good big bet? Now, wait a minute. The boy said, I can't do that. But I'll bet, I'll bet you a, a dollar. Or whatever it is over here, some ceilings, I guess. I move just here to here. Could you scrub a little bit up? Just one, please. Okay, okay. Um, the little man uh, waved his hand again. Listen to me. Now we have some fun. We make a bet. Then we go up to my room here in the hotel where it's not wind, and I bet you, you cannot light this famous lighter of yours ten times running without missing once. Good. Okay. Uh, let's look at examined, examined. Examined, examined, examined. Mm. And then, I like to bet, too. I like to bet, too. Dollar? Dollar? Yeah, instead of saying with the really A sound, it sounds almost like a dollar. Dollar, dollar. Yeah, or a dollar. Dollar, okay. Uh, or whatever it is here, <laughs> sorry, or whatever it is over here, some shillings, I guess. Whatever it is, uh, whatever it is over here, some shillings. Shillings? Shillings, I guess. Shillings, I guess. Yeah, so shilling is like a peso, a pound. Ah, okay, a, it's a kind of coin. Kind yeah. Of currency, okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that that was really good. Does anybody have any questions here? Okay. Uh, I have uh, one. Uh, yeah. In the question, um, let me see. Uh, okay. Why we don't have a good bet uh, on this thing? On the yeah. So why don't we have a good bet on this thing? On this thing. Does that make sense, or are you still confused? I'm confused. Uh, so on this thing, 
It's like this, on uh, what we're talking about. Ah, ah, okay, on oh, this thing, okay, okay, see, it's not exactly, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, not exactly there. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it, thank you, Joshua. Okay. Yeah, and other questions? Okay, let's have AMP, can you read until I tell you to stop? Uh, the, the, the... The I'll bet I can't, the boy said. All right, good. We bet we made a bet. Yes. Sure. I'll bet you I bet you a buck. No no. I made you very good bet. I'm a rich I'm a rich man and I'm a sporting man also. Listen to me. Outside the hotel is my car. It's a very fine car. American car from your country. Cadillac. Hey, now, wait a minute. The boy leaned back in his deck chair and he laughed. I can't put up that sort of property. This is crazy. Not crazy at all. Just try glider successfully 10 minutes running and Cadillac is yours. You like to have this Cadillac, yes? Sure, I like to have a Cadillac. The boy was still grinning. All right, fine, we make a bed and I put up my Cadillac. And what do I put up? The little man carefully removed the red band from his steel and light the cigar. I never ask you, my friend, to bet something you cannot afford. You understand? And then what do I bet? I make it very easy for you, yes. Okay, you make it easy. Some small thing you can afford to give away, and if you did happen to lose it, you would not feel too bad, right? Fun. Just a couple more lines. Sorry. Uh, okay. Such as what? Uh, such as perhaps uh, the little finger of your left hand. My what? The boy stopped <laughs> grinning. Yes, why not? You win. You take the car, you lose, I take the finger. I don't get it. How do you mean you take the finger? I chop it off. <laughs> Good. Um, nice. Any questions here? What is a deck chair? What's a deck chair? Uh, mm -hmm. It's like a, a place where it's a lounge chair, so you can lie out on this chair by the pool. Mm -hmm. um, so generally they're like plastic, some sort of plastic that you can keep outside. Yeah, for a deck, an outside area. Any other questions? Grinning. Uh, Julieta, what's grinning? I think you asked that last time. Uh, it is a kind of smile. Huh. It's mm, a small smile. It's actually a big smile. Really? Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so grinning could almost be like, Jokerish, so like a joker would grin. So it could be kind of like a, a kind of creepy thing, but it could just be like a really happy smile. It's a little bit ambiguous in that nature that it's like can go both ways, but it's a really big smile. It's either really creepy or really genuine and authentic. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Uh, teacher, can we say that if it's a grinding means uh, it's a big smile, it means in smile we can see the teeth. Okay? <laughs> but in case of grinding, can we see the teeth? Grinning? Grinning. Yes, grinning. Okay, not grinding, but grinning. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah grinning, you can definitely see the teeth. Okay. Oh. And buck. Here is a word used buck, B U C K. Uh -huh. A buck is a dollar. A buck is a dollar, okay. A buck. Did you have a Cadillac? A Cadillac is a type of car. Um, it's a n pretty nice car from the US. It's a GM type of car. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, let's have. Well, Anam, so so far, well, welcome to class. Anam, how are you? 
I am great. What about you, teacher? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Anum, um, um, so we're in the middle of a story. We've got a man, the narrator, by a pool with a foreigner who is betting an American. He can't light his lighter ten times without it not working. If the man, if the American wins the bet, he gets a car. And if he loses the bet, he's going to get his finger chopped off, is what we're okay. at so far. Um, Anna Carolina, can you read in for a bit? Clumping clippers. That's a crazy bet. I think I will just make it a dollar. The man leaned back, he spread out his hands, palms upward, and gave a tiny contemptuous shrug of the shoulders. Well, 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 he said. I do not understand. You say it likes, but you will not bet. Then we forget it, yes? The boy sat quite still, staring at the batter, baiters, baiters, staring, yeah. staring at the baiters in the pool. Then he remembered suddenly he hadn't lighted his cigarette. He put it between his lips, cupped his hands around the lighter, and flipped the wheel. The wick lighted and burned with a small, steady yellow flame, and the way he held his hand, the wind didn't get to it at all. Could I have a light too? I said. Gee, I'm sorry. Gee, I'm sorry. I forgot you didn't have one. I had out my hand for the lighter, but he stood up and came over to do it for me. Thank you, I said, and he returned to his seat. You having a good time? I asked. Fine, he answered. It's pretty nice here. There was a silence then, and I could see that the little man was succeeding in disturbing the boy with his absurd proposal. He was sitting there very still, and it was obvious that a small tension was beginning to build up inside him. Yeah, keep reading till the end of the paragraph. Then he started shifting about in his seat and rubbing his chest and stroking the back of his neck and finally he placed both hands on his knees and began tapping his finger against his knee caps. So he was tapping with one of his feet as well. Okay. Uh, G. G, I'm sorry. G, I'm sorry. Good. Uh, staring. Staring. Yeah, good correction with bathers. Um, okay, nice. I think that sounded good. Do do do. Um, the little man had succeeded. That was a type error, typing error. Um, any other questions here? Carpet. Cupped. So if you wrap something around something else, you cup it. So just wrapped around something else. Does that make sense? Wrap it around? Yeah, so if you cup something around it, so a cup is kind of like half of a bowl or half of a circle. So if we... And I can't erase anything. So if we take like the top half of this, that could be a cup. So you cup something around it, <laughs> yeah, to protect it from flame. Um, so you'd cup your hand around your lighter to protect it from the wind. Um, yeah, you could, yeah, to like wrap yourself around something or wrap something around something else is to cup it. So you can cup a glass of water, too. Uh, any other questions? 
Whoa, where did we go? Sorry. Um, okay. Any other questions? I think we're good. Let's have Anam. Can you read from here? Yeah, sure. Now just let me check up on this bet of yours. He said at last. You say we go up to your room and if I make this lighter light ten times running, I win a Cadillac. Cadillac, teacher? Cadillac. Cadillac. If it misses just once, then I forfeit the little finger of my left hand. Is it? Is that right? Certainly, that is the bet. But I think you are afraid. What do we do I, if I lose? Do I have to hold my finger out while you chop it off? Oh no, that would be no good. And you might be tempted to refuse to hold it out. What I should do, I should tie one of your hands to the table before we started and I should stand there with an eye ready to go chop the moment your lighter missed. What year is the Cadillac? The boy asked. Excuse, I don't, I not understand. What year, how old is the Cadillac? Ah, uh, how old? Yes, it is last year, quite now car. But I see you are not betting men. Americans never are. The boy paused for just a moment and he glanced first at the English girl, then at me. Yes, he said sharply, I will bet you. Good. The little man clapped his hands together quietly once. Fine, he said. We do it now. And you, sir, he turned to me. You would perhaps be good enough to what you call it, to to ref referee. He had pale, almost colorless eyes with, with tiny, bright black pupils. Nice. Good reading. Um, pale. Pale. And referee. 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 Nice job with Kalak. What else are we looking at? Um, I think, yeah, that was about it. Questions here. Tempted. Tempted. Uh, and you might, yes. Uh-huh. So, tempted is like, mm, when you really want to do something. Uh, so, you might be tempted to hold it out. So, you could like tempt somebody with candy, like probably a child, you could tempt them to do something by offering them candy. Um, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, any other is, questions? It, it is like a temptation. temptation. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you might have the temptation. Okay. okay. And, yeah, any other questions? Okay. And let's have Herman. Can you read for a while? Well, I said, I think it's a crazy bet. I don't think I like it very much. Nor do I, said the English girl. It was the first time she'd spoken. I think it's a stupid, ridiculous bet. Are you serious about cutting off this boy's finger if he loses? Uh, if he loses, loses, I said. Loses. Certainly, I am. Also about cutting off this boy's fingers if he loses, I said. Certainly, I am. Also what? about giving him, giving <laughs> him <laughs> Cadillac if <laughs> if he wins. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's just. <laughs> Come now. We go to my room. He stood up. You like to put on some clothes, 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 clothes first, he said. No, the boy answered. I'll come like this. Then he turned to me. 
I'd consider it a favor if you come along and referee. All right, I said. I come along, but I don't like the bet. You come too, he said to the girl. You come to watch. The little man led the way back through the garden to the hotel. He was animated now and excited, and that seemed to make him bounce up higher than ever on his toes, and he walked along. I live in Annex, he said. You like to see Carl first? It's just here. He took us to where we could see the front driveway of the hotel, and he stopped and pointed a slick pale green Cadillac parked close by. Nice. Okay. Really nice job. Referee? Referee? Huh? Referee? If he loses? He loses. Yeah. Um... Nor do I, said the English girl. Nor do I, said the English girl. Perfect. Um, bounce up higher than ever on his toes as he walked along. Bounce up higher than ever on his toes as he walked along. Good. Walked. Walked. Good. Okay, questions here? What does our next mean? It's... Like a building. It's not really used. I think it might be a British English type of thing. Um, but, yeah, it's like a, an attachment, I guess, like an attachment to the hotel. Um, yeah, I live in Annex. It's like the attachment of the hotel. Yeah, not really common. Um, any other questions? Okay. Uh, sir, yes, can can you pronounce one more time? I live in Annexy or Annex? Annex. 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 Yeah. Okay. And An this again is grammatically incorrect. It would be I live in the Annex. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. But again, Annex is not a really common word. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Grammatically mm -hmm. incorrect. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. And uh, teacher, sorry, uh, bounce yeah. up. It, it is a phrase. Bounce up. Yeah. So phrase? like. Mhm. Mm I mean, bouncing. Mhm. Mm is you know it, a ball will bounce. It will. Yeah. Yeah. So bouncing up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of like bouncing down, um, you could say bouncing off the wall, bouncing. Up from the ground, yeah. Okay. I mean, it is a phrase. It's not like especially common, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'm phrasal verb bouncing up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. And I think we're with uh, Julieta. Can you read for a while? There she is. The green one you like? Say, that's a nice car, the boy said. All right, now we go up and see if you can win her. We followed him into the annex and up one flight of stairs. He unlocked his door and we all trooped into what was a large, pleasant double bedroom. There was a woman's dressing gown lying across the bottom of one of, one of the beds. First, he said, we have a little martini. The drinks were on, the, on a small table in the far corner, all ready to be mixed, and there was a shaker and ice and plenty of glasses. He began to make the martini, but meanwhile he rang the bell and now there was a knock on the door and a colored maid came in. Ha, ah, 
he said, putting down the bottle of gin, taking a wallet from his pocket and pulling out a pound note. You will do something for me now, please. He gave the maid the pound. You keep that, she said, and now we are going to pay, play a little game here, in here and I want you to go off and find for me two, no, three things. I want some nails, I want a hammer, and I want a chopping knife, a butcher's chopping knife, which you can borrow from the kitchen. You can get, yes, a chopping knife. The maid opened her eyes wide and clasped her hands in front of her. You mean a real chopping knife? Yes, of, yes, of course. Come on now, please. You can find those things surely for me. Yes, sir, I'll try, sir. Surely, I'll try to get them. And she went. Good. <laughs> yeah, I think you're, that sounded really good. Um, nice job with butcher's chopping knife. Um, things like that. That all sounded really good. Um, any questions here? Okay, no questions. Let's continue. Uh, Ivan, welcome to class. Ivan, how's it going? Ivan. Hello, teacher. Hi, how do you prefer your name to be pronounced? Ivan. Ivan. Um, yeah, welcome to class. So, we've got a bet with a man um, who's going to cut off somebody's finger if he can't light a lighter ten times in a row. And if he can light the relator ten times in a row, he's going to win a Cadillac. Um, Ivan, can you read this paragraph? Oh. Hold on. Uh, the little man handed round to Martinez, who stood there and sipped them the boy with the long freckled Face and pointed nose, bare body, bare bodied, except for a pair of faded brown bathing shorts, the English girl, a large bonnet, fair headed girl wearing a pale blue bathing suit, who watched the boy over the top of her glass all the time, the little man with the colorless eyes standing there in the his in his immaculate white suit drinking his martini and looking at the girl in her pale blue patin dress. I didn't know what to make of it all. They all seemed serious about the bed and he seemed Serious about the business of cutting off the finger, but hell, what if the boy lost? Then we'd have to rush him to the hospital in the Cadillac that he hadn't won. That would be a, be a fine thing. Now, wouldn't that be a really fine thing? I will be a damned silly and necessary thing so far as I could see. Good. Uh, we stood there and sipped them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Large, can you repeat sipped? Sipped. Sipped. Faded. Excuse me? Yeah, good. And faded? Faded. And boned. Brown. Yeah, boned. Boned. Haired. Haired. Bathing. 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 Yeah, bathing. Bathing. Why bathing? I don't know. Mm, <laughs> it's just the way <laughs> the word is. I, I mean, I, I have heard word like bathing. Mm -mm. Bath? It's never bathing. It's a bath, but a bathe. You bathe yourself, 
and it's a bathing suit. Um, uh, I understand. Okay. Uh, serious? Serious? Uh huh. Good. And let's go and let's have Sam. Can you read it for a while? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, yes. Do you think? Don't. Don't you think? Okay. Don't you think this is rather a silly bet? I said. I think it's a fine bet. The boy answered. He had already down one large uh, Martin. Martin. Martini. Yeah. Martin. Okay. I think it's a stupid. Ridiculous bet, the girl said. What will what will happen if you lo uh, lose loss? It won't matter. Come to think of it, I can't remember ever in my life having had any use for the little ang finger on my left hand. Here he is. The boy took hold of the finger. Here. He is, and he hasn't ever done a thing for me yet. So why shouldn't I bet him? I think it's a fine bet. The little man smile and pick up the shaker and refill our glasses. Before we begin, he said, "I will present to today. Today, referees." DK of the car. He produced a car key from his pocket and gave it to me. And gave it to me. The papers, he said, the owning papers and insurance are in a deep the pocket of the car. Good. Then he col Okay, read the next paragraph. Okay. Yeah. Then then he colored Matt came in again. In one, hand, in one hand, she carried a small chopper, the kind used by butchers for chopping, for chopping meat bones, and in the other, a hammer and a bag of nails. God. My gosh. Uh, <laughs> refilled. Mm -hmm. Okay, refill. Okay, refill. Smiled. Mm -hmm. Smiled. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What will happen if you lose? Lose. Not loss, lose. Yeah, mm -hmm. lose. Good. Okay. Other than that, really well done. And uh, I think we're with Santiago. Can you keep reading? Okay. Uh, good. You got that on. Thank you, thank you. Now you can go. He waited until the maid had closed the door. Then he put the implements on one of the beds and said, Now we prepare ourselves, ourselves, yes? And to the boy, tell me, please, with this table, we carry it out a little. It was the usual kind of, of hotel printing desk. Just a plain rectangular table, about four feet by three, with a floating pad, ink, pens, and paper. They carried it out into the room away from the wall and removed the breathing things. And now he said, A chair. He picked up a chair and placed it beside the table. He was very brisk, brisk and very animated, like a person organizing games at a, at a children's party. Party. And now um, the nails. And now the nails. I must put it. Uh, I must put in the nails. He fetched the nails and he began to hammer them into the top of the table. Okay, maybe one more. Actually, let's stop there. Let's look at writing, writing things. So the the last one, okay? Writing, yeah. 
let's just look at some pronunciation. Writing. Ah, uh, uh, writing, writing. Okay, writing. Rectangular. Rectangle, rectangular. Yeah, rectangular. Um, hotel. Hotel. Implements. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And he fetched the nails and began to hammer them onto the table. Fetch is like retrieve or get. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Yeah, he fetched. He fetched, okay. Um, and... Amp, can you keep reading? Okay. We stood there, the boy, the girl, and I, holding Martinez in our hands, watching the little man at work. We watched him hammer two nails into the table about six inches apart. He didn't hammer them the right home. He allowed a small part of each one to stick up. Then. He tested them for firmness. Uh, anyone would think the son of a bitch <laughs> had done this before. Oh, I sorry. told myself. He never hesitates. Made table, nails, hammer, kitchen chopper. He knows exactly what he needs and how to rank it, arrange it. And now, he said, all we want is some string. He found some string. All right, at last we are ready. Will you please to sit here at the table? He said to the boy. The boy put his glass away and sat down. Now play, place the, uh, the left hand between these two nails. The nails are only so I can tie your hand in place. All right, good. Now I tie your hand secure to uh, the table. So he would strained around the boy's wrist, then several times around the wide part of the hand. Then he fastened the tie to the nails. He made a good job, a good, deal, a good job of it. And when he had finished, there wasn't any question about the boy being able to draw his hand away. But he could move, move his fingers. Wound. Wound. Yeah, wound, something like that. Good. Really nice job. Um, wound? Mm hmm. Wound. Anna like Carolina? A tie? You... Yeah, tie. Okay. Wrapped. Wound. Good. Anna Carolina, can you keep going? Uh, sure. Now, please, clench the fist. Always tap to follow the little finger. You must leave the little finger sticking out. Lie on the table. Excellent, excellent. Now we are ready. With your right hand, you manipulate the lighter. But one moment, please. He skipped over to the bed and picked up the chopper. He came back and stood beside the table with the chopper in his hand. We are all ready, he said. Mr. Referee, you must say to begin. The English, <coughs> the English girl was standing there in her pale blue bathing costume right behind the boy's chair. She was just standing there, not saying anything. The boy was sitting quite still, holding the lighter in his right hand, looking at the shopper. The little man was looking at me. Are you ready? I asked the boy. I'm ready. And you? To the little man. Quite ready, he said, and he lifted the chopper up in the air and held it there about two feet above the boy's finger. Ready to shop. The boy watched it, but he didn't flinch and his mouth didn't move at all. He merrily raised his eyebrows and frowned. Good. Nice. And Herman, can you keep going? Uh, yeah. Uh, we are in... Yes, I said. I'll do that. All right. 
Uh, all right, I said, go ahead. The voice said, will you please count aloud the number of times I lied it? Yes, I said, I'll do that. With his thumb, he raised the top of the lighter, and again with the thumb, he gave the wheel a sharp flick. The flint sparked and the wick caught fire and burned with a small yellow flame. One, I called. He didn't blow the flame out. He closed the top of the lighter on it, and he waited for perhaps five seconds before opening it, opening it again. He flicked the wheel very strongly, and once more there was a small flame burning on the wick. Two. <laughs> no one else said anything. The voice kept his eyes on the lighter. The little man held the chipper up in the air, and he too was watching the lighter. Three, four, five, six, seven. Obviously, it was one of the of those lighters had that worked. The flying gave a big spark and the wick was the right length. I watched the thumb snapping the top down onto the flame, then a pause. Then the thumb raising the top once more. This was an all thumb operation. The thumb did everything. I took a breath, ready to say eight. The thumb flicked the wheel. The flink sparked. The little flame appeared. And Julieta, can you keep up from here? I can't see it. No. Ah. <laughs> uh, Ivan, can you read the next paragraph? Can you see that? Eight. Or Sam? Oh. No, I can't. Okay, go for it. Hello. Yep. Hello. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Julie has to go. Go ahead. Eight, I said. And as I said it, the door opened. We all turned and we saw a woman standing in the doorway, a small, black-haired woman, rather old, who stood there for about two seconds, then rushed forward, shouting, Carlos, Carlos. She grabbed his wrist took the chopper from him, threw it on the bed, took hold of the little man by the lovers of his white suit and began shaking him very vigorously, talking to him fast and loud and fiercely all the time in some Spanish-sounding language. She shook him so fast you couldn't see him anymore. He began a faint misty, quickly moving outline like uh, she spoke of so turning wheels. Then she slowed down and the little man came into view again and she hauled him across the room and pushed him backward onto one of the beds. He sat on the edge of the heat, blinking his eyes and testing his head to see if it would still turn on his neck. I'm so sorry, the woman said. I am so terribly sorry that this should happen. She spoke almost perfect, perfect English. Uh huh. Lapels are the like cuffs on the front of your shirt. So if you're wearing a suit, the lapels are like the extra fabric on the front of your suit. I don't really know how to say it other than that. Um, good. And Ivan, can you read for a bit? Yeah, yes. Mm. From that, uh, it's too bad. She went on. I suppose it's really my fault. For ten minutes, I leave him alone to go. I have my hair washed, and I come back. And he's at it again. She looked sorry and deeply concerned. Keep going. The boy was untying his hand from the table. The English girl 
and I stood there and said nothing. He is a menace, the woman said. Down where we live at home, he was taken altogether 47 fingers from different people, and he was lost 11 cars. In the end, they threatened to have him put away somewhere. That's why I brought him up yeah. here. Menace. Menace. Concerned. Concerned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Santiago, can you read uh, until the end? Santiago? Santiago, are you there? Uh, Roman, can you read until the end? Okay. We were only having a little bet, Mabel, the little man from the bed. I suppose he bet you a car, the woman said. Yes, the boy answered, a Cadillac. He has no car, it's mine, and that makes it worse, she said, that he would, he should bet you when he has nothing to, be, to bet with. I am ashamed and very sorry about it all. She seemed an awfully nice woman. woman. Well, I said, there, then here's a key of your car. I put it on a table. We were only having a little bet, mumbled the little man. <clears throat> He hasn't anything left to bet with, the woman said. He hasn't a thing in the world, not a thing. As a matter of fact, I myself won it all from him a long while ago. It took time, a lot of time, and it was hard work, but I won, won it all in the end. She looked up at the boy and she smiled. A slow, sad smile, and she came over and put out a hand to take the key from the table. I can see it now, that hand of hers. I had only one finger on it, and a thumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, we are out of time. Uh, sorry it took a little bit too long. Yeah, so Herman, Ivan, uh, Ivan, hopefully you enjoyed that. Julieta, I know you did. Um, thanks for coming in again, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks, Jetra. Nice yeah. reading. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.